Hey everyone, you're watching Funcube TV. I'm Asan Najibdi. So last week, we looked at how to properly manage the packages using package control. And at the end, we looked at three awesome plugins, Readme Please, Vintage, and Advanced New File. In this episode, we're gonna look at some other awesome Sublime packages to increase your productivity. So let's jump right in. So the next plugin, which is a kind of an awesome plugin that I'm going to show you is Emit. You can go to their website, emit.io. I'm in the index.html file and I'm going to give a quick demo. So let's say if I want to type the skeleton of the HTML page, all I need to do is I need to type doc, hit enter. You can see it created the bare skeleton for this uh, HTML file. So I can say a sublime text. Okay. And if I need to add the doc type, I need to add the bang, bang, bang third three times and hit enter. It's going to give the uh, doc type for me. This is HTML5, obviously. Um, I mean, we can do pretty cool stuff. Let's say I'm going to define a, a, a structure of an HTML and I'm going to have a do with a class name of container. And inside that, I'm going to have a header with the class of header. And inside that, I have a nav. Inside that, I have a UL. Inside the UL, I have three li element. And inside that, I have an anchor tag. And if I hit tab, you can see I have the whole skeleton here. So now I can type about and hit the tab. I say about and hit tab, uh, you know, company or something like that contact contact and you know sign up something like that sign up and i can instantly i can create um, this kind of skeleton using emit this is a pretty powerful i'm i only touched the surface of emit go ahead and check it out you can save tons of your valuable time let's save this the third uh, beautiful plugin that i always use in my projects is a uh, to-do list um we need to uh we need to keep track some stuff but we don't have to mess up with this code in that case i use this plugin called uh plain tasks right it's a pretty simple plugin we need to create a file with the name to do or with the extension of to do so i'm going to create a file using uh, my advanced new file plugin i'm going to go to the uh, normal mode and hit nn and I'm gonna create a file called to do. Now you can see it's created a nice yellow uh, kind of a notepad have like a uh, file for us. Now what I can do is I can, I can type, okay, uh, before production, something like that. And, and now I can add the to-do list item. So in order to create the checkbox, I need to hit command enter. It's going to create the uh, checkbox for me. And I can sign, I can type check, the logo and again create another checkbox spelling something like that and now I can save this file now most of the time I exclude this file from the repository uh, in the git igno file so it uh, it won't bother the other developers so once this uh, once a task is done I can come here and hit command D for done and it's going to give the done mark for us so this is a neat plugin that I use often. Okay, the other plugin that I use is to to do review. So let's say I have a I have a comment here called to do, and then say chain chain the text of about link something like that. Now if I save, most often I may miss this to do item. So what I can do is if I have the to-do review plugin, I can come to this project folder, right click and see to-do review. And it's going to list all the to-dos uh, inside in the comment section or something like that. And now I can go to the index.html uh, file and go to the line number eight. And I can, here you can see uh, once I issue the command, it's notifying me, okay, I have a to-do item here. So I can complete all the to-do items before the production. So this is a pretty neat plugin as well. Okay, the next plugin we're going to look at is the HTML, CSS, JS, Prettify plugin. So if I go to the CSS file and style.css, I'm gonna paste here the minified version of a CSS that I copied from our 
website frontcube.com so as you can see this is in one line and if you want to format this uh, to make some changes it'll be a huge headache so if you have that plugin html css js pretty fire plugin all you need to do is you can select all by hitting command a and now you can hit command shift h and now voila it's going to prettify all the css and this can be done uh, with html as well so let's say so let's say i have everything uh, you know unintended now i can select everything and hit command shift h and it's going to nicely indent all the uh, tags for us okay the next beautiful plugin that i'm going to show you is the bracket highlighter so you can see that if I select the now tag, you can see the tags right here. It indicates the starting tag and the closing tag. So this is a very small HTML file. Let's open a very complex JS file. If I open site.js, you can see it's a pretty complex JS file. Let's say I want to get the closing bracket of this curly brace. All I need to do is I need to click here and you see it's going to indicate the the starting bracket and the closing bracket this is a pretty neat plugin same thing is useful for the styles as well if you go to style.css you can see it's a pretty long uh, rule here if i place a cursor it's going to indicate the relevant brackets and the relevant brackets and the relevant brackets i hugely use this uh, plugin when i develop websites it's a pretty awesome plugin okay the next plugin that i'm going to talk about is emit css snippets so let's uh, delete all the css uh, once you install that plugin it's pretty easy for you to write styles let's say for the body if you want to add paddings 10 pixels you can say p10 and hit tab it's going to auto complete it for you uh, let's say padding top you can say pt 10 pixel 20 pixels and hit tab it's going to auto complete it for you and let's say what about margin bottom you need to give uh you know 20 percentage let's type 20 p and hit tab it's going to auto complete it for you which is pretty awesome plugin i hope you have seen this in my other screencast as well another awesome plugin that i use and one of the reasons that i always coming back to sublime is ink deck value we can get the readme file for that ink deck value which allows you to you know uh, you know control the numbers using your keyboard rather than typing them uh, let me show you so let's say if i want to increase this number uh, with interval of 10 i can hit command alt upper arrow and it's going to increase uh, by 10 and if you want to decrease you can hit the uh, down key with command alt it's going to decrease the number and one of the a crazy thing that i do with this plugin is let's say if i want to uppercase the first letter i do the same uh, command alt up arrow it's going to uppercase and it's going to uh, down case and if i want to only need to uh, upcase the m letter i can select i can hit uh, command alt upper arrow which is a which is an awesome plugin i use most of the time and if, I, if you want to increase the number by one, you can hit Alt key and you can hit uh, upper arrow. It'll increase that. Rather than typing, I found this really uh, useful because the number key in my laptop is on the top. So it'll always be easy to access the Alt key and the arrow key at the bottom. The next package that I'm going to show you is kind of a little bit crazy. Probably you think I'm a pretty lazy guy. So, you know, developers suggest to use two different kind of themes in your work, working day. Like if you're in a very bright environment, they suggest to use um, a light theme, something similar to Solaris light. And if you're in a dark environment, um, they suggest to use kind of a dark theme, which is currently I have on my screen. You can switch to themes by going to Sublime Preferences and Color Scheme. You can check here the Solaris dark and light themes available. Sometimes you need to manually change these two themes. Mostly developers use the Solaris light uh, in the morning hours, Solaris dark in the evening hours. So again, we need to <laughs> manually switch this. So there's a plugin to automate this process as well. It's called the Sun Cycle. So once you install that plugin Sun Cycle, you can go to package settings and go to uh, Sun Cycle and select user settings so you can give a date 
theme and the night theme. So currently I'm using the same thing, dark theme for the screencast, uh, but you can give the light theme here for the day and the dark theme for the night. So this will automatically switch to night theme by the time the sun is setting in your time zone, <laughs> which is a pretty good plugin, I guess. Okay, the next plugin is go to definition. So let's say I have a contact.php file and uh, I'm going to include this function.php and I'm going to use this uh, function for here in this contact.php. Uh, let's include that file. Include, includes function.php and let's add the skeleton and here I'm going to call that function. Okay, let's close this function.php. Let's assume that we have huge list of uh, functions that has been used in this page. So if I need to find out where this function has been written, I can right click on here and I can select go to definition and it's going to uh, open up the file. At the same time, it's going to uh, place the cursor right in front of the function, which is a pretty awesome plugin. And this is the favorite plugin of uh, Sanjay Ted, by the way. So he's the one who found this. So credit goes to him. This week, we're going to look at some of the powerful features of Sublime and most importantly, some powerful Sublime packages to increase your productivity in a significant level.